Virtual reality is a fully immersive computer simulated environment that gives a user the feeling of being in that environment instead of the one they're actually in. A lot of video games have already developed the technology to put the user in an interactive world, in the driver's seat of a car, or on the battlefield in a first-person shooter, or even in your own little town. However, your perception of reality is not altered. You're simply a spectator overseeing the events that are happening in that world. In order for your brain to perceive a virtual environment, there are a few key factors that are vital for the creation of an immersive experience necessary for virtual reality. While there are different display methods, one of the most popular ways to experience virtual reality is through a headset. Headset devices use stereoscopic display to make what you see three-dimensional and to give depth to the image that you're looking at, kind of like how our eyes see anyways. However, stereoscopic display does not an immersive experience make. The ability to track a user's motion, particularly their head and eye movements, allows the image displayed in the headset to actually change with your perspective. So if you turn your head to the left, the display will render whatever is on your left in that environment. Besides vision, certain VR experiences will also include other sensory stimulation like sound and even tactile feedback for touch. Lastly, in order to truly alter the perception of our reality, there has to be a certain level of virtual interactivity. True interactivity should allow a certain degree of user-controlled navigation. So I should be able to walk forward, backward, or turn through space in the virtual environment so that I don't feel like I'm just watching an elaborate 3D movie. When we are able to freely move within that environment and even interact with things in it, our brains can truly perceive that world as real, and thus, virtual reality. Virtual reality has a lot of practical purposes outside of gaming, and has been used for training simulators for soldiers, pilots, and doctors. But it is pretty cool for gaming, too. <laughs> virtual reality has seen somewhat of a resurrection lately thanks to exceedingly improved technology and hardware. Devices like the Oculus Rift have advanced the VR experience by including superior graphics, improved latency, and wider range of motion. Reduced cost of components are also allowing virtual reality devices to become more affordable for consumers. For more information on virtual reality, check out Mashable's latest coverage. And don't forget to watch the other videos in our Mashable Explained series. And um, I'm going to unplug now, so I'll see you guys later.